Hi everyone, welcome to the Fire Mountain Gems and Beads Jewelry Making Studio. Here in Grants Pass, Oregon, it is starting to get warm. It is summertime coming, folks. And so we're going to make ourselves some really nice beachy summer wear earrings. They're made with a very, very cool raffia fringe and rattan base. I'm going to teach you how to make these, so let's get started. We have lots of different kinds of rattan findings that you can find here at Fire Mountain Gems and Beads. Today we'll use this little round one right here. And we also have this great raffia yardage that you can get from Fire Mountain Gems as well. First thing I'm going to start with is explain how to deal with this raffia because it's, um, it's a little fragile in the way that it's sewn together. So let me show you how to fix that. You can see this is sewn together with a nylon thread, which is great. It's pre-sewn for us to work with, but this end comes off really easy. So I got to do something to stabilize this before I get too excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a needle and thread. This is three pound fire line. And I'm going to go ahead and sew through those last little bits. Put my needle through. And I've already knotted the end of this. So I'm also going to go right through my knotted end to make sort of a half hitch here and tighten that down. Now that's a little more stabilized. I can cut off this excess nylon thread. Just take that off. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to wrap around that a couple times. I want to make sure this doesn't come loose. So I'm just going to go through a couple times. Ow. Just stab myself. I should never be given a needle. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Needles are dangerous for Rose. There we go. There. So I got that nice and tight. Now my piece isn't going to come apart while I'm working on it. I'm going to go one more time because I don't feel secure yet. Keep doing this until you feel secure. And then I can cut off this excess little tidbit here. And for cutting fire line, I always use these really good Lindstrom nippers. An ordinary pair of scissors usually won't cut fire line. It is that tough a thread. So I use these little nippers for that. Or um, a fingernail clippers, I think, would also work as well. And to make sure that knot is secure, I'm going to glue it. So I'm going to glue the end of this. Don't want it coming unraveled once I'm wearing my earrings down at the beach, you know. OK. So now we can start putting this onto our raffi. I'm going to pick out, excuse me, our rattan. Rattan? Rattan. I don't know. Sounds like rat. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> OK. Um, I'm going to pick the side I think is the prettiest. I think this side looks a little bit better. So I'm going to put my raffia on the other side. And this stuff is made of sort of like a woody core and then a thinner binding of the rattan. And uh, you can actually sew right through that wooden cord. So, but I'm going to go through the middle between the two layers. And you might want a thimble. If you have trouble pushing this through, I would literally use my pliers and pull it through that way. My fingers are pretty tough. I've been doing this for quite a while. So I've got really tough fingers, but maybe yours aren't as tough as mine. So don't be afraid to use a thimble or pliers. And we're going to sew this right on to right onto my rattan. And you can see we're making like a little grass skirt. But you know, personally, I felt that I needed a little more color. Now I'm having trouble going through this because I think I've hit a woody spot. 
but I can go right through even the wood part as long as I use my pliers. Just pull it right through. So this can be a little bit time consuming because you're going to take the time to get that needle through this woody rattan. And I think it's time to add a bead. Yeah, these little blue beads are number two glass seed beads. And I want them to look just like these. So, oops, excuse me. Stand up, little guys. So I think I want my bead right about there. Does that look good? Let's see if we can get my raffia in there all together. So I will put these glass seed beads right onto my stitching here. And I know it looks like you can really see that thread, but you know what? In the final product, it just, it looks really pretty. So don't worry about it. In the final product, you don't notice the threads. So I sew the beads on and I sew the raffia on all at the same time. Super easy breezy. And I will keep sewing this raffia on. So I've been diligently sewing away and I've got four of my beads on there and I don't see a whole lot of blood. I, I guess I did okay. Use the pliers, it really does help. <laughs> okay, let's get that last bead on and I'll show you how to add the um, jump ring to the top. So putting the last bead on, making sure as I go through my rattan that I also go through my raffia on the back, but I used my pliers. Ta-da! So that puts the last bead on, because we wanted five for the color. And I'm just gonna go a little bit beyond. Hello. And make sure your thread doesn't get caught up in your raffia either. Hello, get out of there. Raffia is a natural product. It's made from a particular kind of um, palm tree that lives in Africa and Madagascar, I think parts of Africa and Madagascar. And so it's kind of, I mean, it really is truly beachy because that's where it comes from. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna cut the end of this just like I did on the other side. And so that means I also want to stabilize it like I did on the other side. So this is how long I'm going to make my fringe of raffia. And I'm going to cut this off. Back here, there's my thread still. And I'm going to cut it. So there's my thread right there. I'm going to go a stitch beyond that and cut it right here. Now it's for, for security to make sure you can use the rest of yours, you probably want to glue that right away before you put it away so it doesn't you know, come apart in your sewing box. And just like I did on the other end, I'm going to make a couple of loops of my thread to make sure this stays here. Just sort of tying it all together. So that last little piece can't just come falling off while you're running down the beach with your dogs. Nice and secure. I'm not even trying to go through the rattan right now. I'm just making sure my raffia is secure. Okay, now I'm gonna, I wanna get up to the top center where I'm going to add I'm going to add a jump ring. So I'm just going to sneak underneath these little wraps. I'm going to try and sneak under those little wraps. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. There we go. Just pushing this up. See how far my needle's gone through underneath the wraps? So I'm up near the top and center. And I will use my pliers. And I won't get caught up in this raffia. And I won't make a knot <laughs> and all those other things I say. There we go. There. 
And now I've got a, a, a thread coming out of the top here. I think I need to go one more loop over, don't you think? No, I'll put it right here in the middle. Centered above the top here. And I'm just going to sew on a, a jump ring. See, there's a wrap right there. I think I'll go right around that wrap. Right through that wrap. There we go. Now, as you're sewing on the jump ring, which wrap am I going through in this one? As you're sewing on your jump ring, ooh, I forgot I had that problem. Uh, but as you're sewing on the jump ring, make sure that your thread isn't coming right where your jump ring opens up because it'll go right through that little crack in your jump ring. That little seam right there. You don't want your thread to pop through that while you're working on it. I also, I remember now when I made these the first time, I did have some trouble with splitting this um, rattan. Uh, it is a, a, a wood fiber type thing. So if you're not careful, a little bit gentle, you could literally break it. So be a little careful. Now, where's that seam? That seam wants to be right where my thread is. Do not let the seam be there. There we go. Put the seam up on the top somewhere. Seam on the top. So many little tips to this sort of thing, you know. You see a problem, solve it. That's what you need to do. And that's kind of the way I made these earrings the first time. I just did it. I wanted to make it look like this, so that's the way I did it. And I'm going to go one more pass. I always seem to have, like to have at least three passes to make sure I'm sturdy there. And then I'm just going to tie a knot. I'm going to tie a knot somehow. How am I going to tie this knot? I do a half hitch. So I've made a loop. I made a loop. And I go over my jump ring. And pull it tight. And I do it a second time. Make a loop. I set it over my jump ring. And I pull it tight. And then I can trim this. Glue it. Doesn't take much. And I'm going to glue both sides just to be kind of suspenders with a belt type of person. And we use another jump ring to add the ear wire. As always, twist open your jump ring. Go through here. Go through your ear wire. And there you have it, a raffia fringed rattan earring. Mm -hmm.